Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today we are here for a seven green ink swatch. So we are going to swatch inks from several brands and that's what are going, we are going to do today. Um, I Sometimes I get new ink, sometimes I have older inks. Ideally I should have swatched all my collection and have them all for ink reviews and ink comparisons but things are not like that I'm not that organized and sometimes I have inks that I have for long for many times like for many years like this and I forgot doing that so let's start this episode of today by doing that so there will be several brands seven inks from six brands and let me just show you one from uh, Rohrer and Undklingner sorry I cannot say that name properly Private Reserve Diamine Diamine Mont Blanc Pelican and Graf von Faber Castell. And we are going with, to start with Graf von Faber Castell. So, how do I do my ink swatches? I let me just check if this tape is okay. So, I usually start with ink bottle. I have an ink syringe, uh, not a syringe, like a pipette. I have a Victorinox knife. So, what I usually do is I open the bottle or maybe I'll have to put it slightly out of frame, sorry about that. I take three drops of ink, I put three dots, three dots on the, three drops on the paper. I really need to take this out of, of the frame, sorry. I put the three drops or maybe like this, just fighting with this. Um, so, again, I put three drops of ink on the paper and then I go over it with a knife, with a blade and just spread it. So we can have an idea how the ink will look like with more ink flow or less ink flow depending on how thick the ink is on each part. So, we will start with the Olive Green by Graf von Faber-Castell. So we take a little bit of ink, one, two, three drops. Let's put the rest back inside the, um, the bottle. And let me just close the bottle, put it away, grab the knife and start by doing something like this just going through the paper with the knife just that sometimes we find that we spill some ink like here a little dot so i have a couple of napkins here just to clean the inks the the knife and all the the mess that i can do so i'm rinsing the pipette here and now this is a very nice olive green we will go for the pelican edelstein uh, olivin which is a nice interesting color also and, the, and that's what we will see how it behaves in a swatch so, the pipette again, one, two, three drops, the rest goes back into the bottle, the pipette goes into a flask with water, this goes here, and again the knife, and let's spread it. So. Today I'm showing mostly some kind of dark, almost 
muddy green colors. This one is the olivine is a little different because it's I would say it has more blue. Uh, it looks a little cooler the the the, the color of that ink the, the tone. It is a cooler hue for this ink. Now we'll go for an ink. Let me shake the bottle. This is an ink that has expired a long time ago, March to 2012. It is an ink that is very sought after and it is called, I'm not sure if it's written there. No, it's not. I guess it's only written on the pot, on the box, but you can see here the swatch. It is the Racing Green from Moonblanc. They don't make these bottles anymore. I fell in love with this ink many years ago and I was close to a place, I used to work close to a place where they had this ink, which was in the center of Lisbon, El Corte Inglés, which is a big general store. I went there and I started buying some bottles, and mostly when I knew they were going to discontinue this ink, and I bought as many as I could find uh, slowly over time. So. I have maybe 10 bottles still on my on the basement and I think I may have a kind of a small fortune there if I decided to sell that ink because I've seen it being sold very very expensively on eBay. Maybe that was something that I should do and use up that money to buy maybe not more inks but new pens because we have we always have room for more pens even if we don't really have physical room for them so here it is I'm not sure how well you will see them when they are wet they look much darker but this one is more dry and I or drier and I will and I will show them uh, towards the end of the video. Now I'm just going to keep uh, swatching them and then I'll show them uh, when they are dry. The next ink is an ink from Diamine because I'm, I've been using a Moomblah ink that I really like also a lot which is Daniel Defoe. It was a special edition, it's no longer made and a viewer told me that this Diamine Safari is kind of a very similar ink, is a very good substitute for the replacement for that Montblanc Daniel Defoe. Just a little droplet there because maybe this is already too much ink on the paper. Let me cap this take this out. If there is an accident here in the table it would be a huge disaster. Yes, this is the kind of green ink that I like. So what I do like this is I expect to see the difference. I think these, I maybe have too much ink there. I will just take a little of the paper because what I really want to do I, I'm I think I put too much ink the first droplet was too too large what I want to show you is how the ink will look when we are using maybe finer or drier nibs like that or when you are using very heavy strokes with maybe how, this allows us to see how dark the ink may get and how light the ink may get. It also allows us to see if there is any sheen, because in the places where the ink pools we'll be able to see sheen, if there is some. And also it is useful because we can also see the transparency of the ink, because this is a Rhodia um, square paper. The squares gives us give us the 
the idea of how transparent or not a specific ink is. So, still too much ink in this swatch and let's leave it like this. Now, let's go for the next ink, which is again a diamine ink and it is this salamander. This is an ink that I bought thinking that I was going to have a nice replacement for the, the Montblanc Daniel Defoe. I tried it, but then people told me that the Safari was better and I bought that one. This one is a salamander and I'm showing you how it looks like. One, two, three drops. Let's put this again here. Close the bottle. I know this video may not interest everyone, but for some people, I think watching swatches being made may be really, uh, maybe kind of relaxing. And so, if it is meant to be relaxing, maybe I'm talking a little bit too much. But that's just to show. This ink has again a little shade of maybe blue, I would say that. Let me bring this up a little bit so it's all in frame. Now, two inks to go and let's see the performance of the next one, which is Private Reserve Avocado. So, as far as I know, avocado is not written like this, it's written avocado so but this is something that I learned it was like this on this private reserve ink I have it for a long time now I didn't use it much I don't know why because I like these kind of shades of green but sometimes I guess I just forget that I have so much ink so I really need to use more inks and some of them maybe I need to decide that I'm going to use one specific ink until the bottle ends. I'm doing that now with that uh, Montblanc Daniel Defoe. Uh, the remaining of the ink, the very last milli milliliters, are inside the um, Visconti Traveling Inkwell and I'm using it on my Sailor King of Pen and I think I'll be using it until I run out of that ink and I think I need to do that. I It would be fun to have some of these inks to be given out, given away as samples, but um, nowadays the there are lots of mail restrictions and I've been reading about them and shipping ink is not that simple and some time ago I shipped some Kaveco inks to another YouTuber and the costumes opened it and they didn't seal the, the inks properly back and it was a big big mess so I don't think giving away samples is good anymore I think I will be giving away samples to my, to some friends at our Portuguese pen community when we meet. I don't think there is another chance of giving away inks to buy mail. So this is the Rohrer und Cleaner Alt Gold which is also a very nice interesting ink. I like the shade of it but I found it very fun because the first time I used this ink was in my Santini Libra and this ink didn't perform well at all in that ink. It was very strange. Another strange thing is that it seems like this ink has kind of some granulation, which is strange. 
I need to check if everything is okay with the ink, if there is nothing floating here on the surface, but it doesn't seem so. Maybe it's just like that. Maybe it is a little bit wetter and goes into the fibers of the paper and when I go through with the knife, the ink uh, lifts some fibers of the paper. I'm not sure, but you can see it made kind of a strange pattern there. But that's what we will see. So, now these will dry and I will be back in a, in a few minutes. Uh, actually, I'll be back in a few moments here to the video and show you how they look when they are dry. So, stay tuned. And I'm back to end this video and just want to show you how the inks look and compare with some, with some others. So, let's start with the first ink. The first ink is this one, the Grafon Faber-Castell Olive Green 75ml bottle that comes inside this nice Graf von Faber-Castell box. And the ink is this. I think it is a very nice color. I'm never sure if colors will come out perfectly on camera, but that's a limitation that every ink reviewer will have. And here we have the Grafon Faber-Castell Olive Green. And how I would compare these with some other inks. Let me show you the ink that I already had here, the Daniel Defoe, which is one that I like, the Montblanc Daniel Defoe, um, and even the Diamine or Diamine Mistletoe from the Inkvent Calendar of 2019. So this ink is quite specific. There is no real equivalent in the other inks that I have. I have here the Noodler's EI Lawrence. It's really a different ink. So let's take this away. Now, the next ink that I swatched was this one. This is the Pelican Edelstein Olivine or Olivine, not sure. It comes in a box like this and the bottle has 50? Yes, 50 milliliters. So, the Pelican Edelstein is this ink with this very interesting color. First, I want to put it side by side with the Graf von Faber-Castell Olive Green. There is nothing in common except they are uh, dark green and if I had to compare it with some other color I already have it would be with the Sailor Gentle Epinard which has some kind of uh, bluish tone but it is very different. And let's go on. I'm not planning to spend a lot of time on this because I think maybe I'll do maybe a review of some of these inks. The next one was this 50 ml ink. It was the Moonblan Racing Green, which is a very rare ink, kind of a holy grail for many. It comes in this kind of box, 50 ml box, with the color there, and also Racing Green, English Con, Ver Anglais, Verde, Verde Inglés, Verde Inglés, in Port, no, this is in Spanish, Verde Inglés, y aquí, and here, uh, Verd English. So, and then maybe Japanese and Chinese, and I don't know that. So this is the Racing Green, which is a very nice color. And the Racing Green is this color that compares with the previous ones, the Faber-Castell Olive Green and with the Edelstein Olivin. Really not that much comparable. It is a grayish green and if I had to kind of my substitute for this ink usually was the Sailor Gentle Epinard which has the same kind of behavior on paper but it is more bluish as I showed you and then I found the 
Daniel Defoe that I really like a lot, but it's not the same ink at all. So, the Montblanc Racing Green is a very special ink, at least for me. I like how black it looks on paper. And you can write with the green ink and it seems black and I really love that. So I, I would call this almost a, a black ink with a green tone. At least in the fine nib pens that I really like to use. The next ink that I showed you was the Diamine Safari that comes in this triangular shape because this was the, the fountain pen, the 40 milliliter bottles that were the 150 years of Diamine and so you, if you had all the collection they would join like this and make a circle so it has this kind of slice of cheese shape and the Diamine Safari is this ink and they told me, they, my viewers, told me it would be similar to the Diamine, the one that I like, the Daniel Defoe. And the, the uh, similar ink that I already had to, Di to Daniel Defoe was Diamine Wagner. But we can see that the Diamine Safari is similar to Mont Blanc Daniel Defoe, except the Mont Blanc Daniel Defoe has more shading. So you will have more shading when you're writing and Diamine Wagner will also allow for more shading when writing. This one is kind of more opaque and... but the color, I would say, is a very good match. Just different shading. And to show you, next to the previous inks, again, because I think this is fun, we have the olive green from Graf von Faber-Castell, Pelican Edelstein Olivin, Mont Blanc Racing Green, Diamine or Diamine Safari. Now, let's go for another ink and the next one on the list, and I no longer remember exactly which one was, but I think it was Diamine Salamander that comes in this bottle with no box, just like this, those, uh, how many? 30 milliliter plastic ink bottles and Diamine Salamander. I have it here, I will put it right away there. So you can see it is a darker ink that it's not comparable with these, but I would say it's quite comparable with the Mont Blanc Racing Green also, but more on the grey side. More grey, less green, and it may have some kind of uh, greyish, almost silvery sheen. So, you can have the same kind of feel, but much less green and more grey. And again, to compare this ink with any other, I would say the most comparable would be, again, the Sailor Gentle Epinard. Again, with this, and you can see it is kind of a a series of green, grey and blue in the undertones for them. Let's go for the private reserve avocado, which is here. Those large bottles, I don't know if they still do this, this is quite old. It comes in this box that already had an accident there. I don't remember if this was when I bought it or not. 50 milliliters, the best thing is the wide opening glass bottle that allows for filling with larger pens. And here it is, the avocado, which can, can be very dark if you have a pen with a high flow. And if it is not a very high flowing ink, it will be much brighter. So, is this comparable to any of the previous inks that I showed here? As you may see in these swatches, it is not. Is it comparable with some other inks that I may have? This is the Diamine Inkvent Calendar 2019 Mistletoe. They, have, they are kind of similar, but this one is a little bit more dull and... I'm not really sure. This is the Caveco 
palm green, but it can have some kind of a bluish sheen. So it's Monte Grappa green. So I don't really have a match for this avocado, which looks fairly nice. And now let's go for the last ink of this video. And it was, where is it? Here, the uh, Rohrer and Klinder Hout Gold Gun, which is kind of old green gold or gold green. This is 50 milliliter glass bottle with this kind of a medicine cap. And we have here the ink, which is a nice olive green. And here it is compared with the other colors. And if I have they are getting out of order, I know. If I, have to com if I had to compare it with some other inks from this set that I showed you, I would compare it with the, Faber uh, the Graf von Faber-Castell Olive Green or with the Lamy Safari. But it is much more similar to the Faber-Castell Olive Green. So, if you ask me this is kind of an olive green, let me just bring here the Diamine Inkvent Calendar Mistletoe, which is a much brighter green. So, and by the way, the Mont Blanc Daniel Defoe, which is an ink that I like, it's not a replacement, but, okay, it's not an exact replacement, but for my kind of taste, yes, it could be. I don't really love, usually, although I love this ink, I don't always love inks with um, color variation, with uh, shading, this one, if you don't like that much shading, I think this is a good alternative and I like it. So, this was my swatching 10, no, not 10, sorry, my swatching 7 green inks video. I hope you enjoyed. It is just a, maybe a simple, if not simple, it's just a video where I talk about inks and I show you the swatches and the ink getting on the paper and all the shading and that. Just kind of fun and it is on my side, it is a way of sharing with you the, the process that I make for having the swatches so I can then choose the inks that I will ink my pens with and sometimes the inks that I have for comparison with inks that I am reviewing. So, this is all I had to show you today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I will make more videos of this kind soon and I hope to meet you here again. Bye!